mountain communities could see a shower or two over the next few days. Taking a live look now from Beach Mountain where those clouds are thick up there. My goodness. I'm in the First Alert Weather Center with meteorologist Lisa Viegas. A very different view over uptown. I mean, it is Carolina yes. blue skies, puffy clouds, but we should be enjoying the weather we're seeing now because it will change later this week. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get ready for more showers and thunderstorms down the road. Here's okay. Siobhan, and you saw that shot outside across parts of Beach Mountain. That's where we're also expecting more of the possibilities of showers, thunderstorms. That's going to be a little more isolated. You can see it's a little ominous out there, but right now, still seeing those bright clouds like Siobhan mentioned across parts of Mecklenburg County. So temperature wise, we are still sitting in the 80s for a lot of locations like Morganton and all the way over into Hickory, Lincolnton, down in Monroe, over in Wadesboro. But watching for those over in Avery, Watauga County, could see some of those isolated showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm as well. Now for tomorrow morning, heading out the door because most of us are going to remain clear later on tonight. Also expecting clear skies by tomorrow morning. Nothing but sunshine. It's going to be a great start. Temperatures eventually warming up into the 60s, mid 60s, right around 8 o'clock, and then we'll warm right back up. So, this is what we can expect tomorrow afternoon. Like today, with that isolated shower, thunderstorm possible, we're going to do that again for the afternoon uh, commute, especially for those over in parts of Boone, Ski Mat Beach, over into uh, Jefferson. Temperatures here, mid 70s, watching for those afternoon showers and thunderstorms. And an isolated one could roll over in a parts of the foothills. I don't want you to completely rule that out, but overall mainly quiet conditions. Lower 80s here over in Morganton, and then we also have those mid 80s, but overall warming up here across parts of the Piedmont, looking at temperatures at around 85 for those in Charlotte, Concord, as we head down uh, across parts of South Carolina, mid 80s as well, like Chester, Rock Hill, 85, 84 degrees, nothing but sunshine, and we will remain dry. Now, this trend continues, this warming trend, right? Temperatures nearing the 90s. As we head into Thursday, we're talking above average temperatures. Records are in the 90s, so not necessarily record, but we're going to feel that heat. And then the temperatures, they kind of level out a little bit. I mean, we drop, not majorly, but we will see those numbers drop a little bit back in those mid 80s, and that's because of this guy right here. So watching for this cold front to approach our area by Friday and as it heads our way. This is when the rain chances begin to creep back into our forecast. First of all, mention that isolated shower thunderstorm across parts of our mountain communities that will return again tomorrow and into Wednesday. Something to keep in mind if you're traveling to the area, maybe exiting rest of us. Lots of sunshine and quiet conditions. Then we're going to watch for this approaching frontal system to head our way. So Thursday, I do think it's going to be a fairly quiet day, but just watching for maybe some of these showers, thunderstorms to roll over parts of the foothills, maybe for our northern communities, something we're going to watch out for in the next couple of days. But for the next six to 10 days here coming up, could see above normal rain chances back in the mix. And speaking of that, when it comes to the heat, yeah, it looks like we are going to continue with above normal temperatures, something to watch out for again in the next six, 10 days. As we take a look at the seven day forecast, want to give you some time to absorb this. So the next couple of days, just watching for the heat to set in lots of sunshine, you know, wash the car, mow the grass, and then we're going to get ready for those showers and thunderstorms entering our forecast, especially as we peak at the end of Friday into the weekend. And as we head into next week, and that is a look at what we can expect. Lisa, thank you with tensions high in the